Hi, I'm Zenith, and look, I, I know, title is horrible, the thumbnail is atrocious, but hear me out. This project's actually kind of cool. In this video, I'm going to show you the first project I've ever done that actually might be useful. Um, I'm making a YIF AI. <laughs> So basically, I'm using something called a Convolutional Neural Network Image Classifier. And all those really big fancy words just mean that the AI takes an image, finds the relevant features and patterns, and determines whether the thing you want to find is in that image. If you remember my furry detector, it's very similar to that, but it uses a slightly different layer system. That's all you really need to know to understand the AI at a surface level. Any deeper and we're going into some nerd shit territory, and I'll just leave the links in the description if you actually care about that. Anyways, that sounds very simple, and it is. Um, <laughs> but the pega me took me about like a month and a half to get this all working. So at the beginning of July, I came across one of my old video ideas for an AI. And it's actually this video you're watching right here. And then I also took a look at my YouTube analytics and saw that, wow, not enough of you were subscribed. And also that I really need to make another video sometime soon. So I set myself a goal. I was going to make this AI and hopefully upload this video before Denver. And like every great project with a deadline, I waited two weeks to start. But after enough procrastinating, I finally got around to starting and my descent into machine learning hell began. So first things first, I need a lot of training data for the AI to learn. And thankfully, that's super easy. All I had to do was write a quick bot that could get images from the E621 API. And while collecting, I looked for three things in an image. I wanted the images to be very high quality, contain only furries, and finally, not include any images that are in E621 standard blocked tags. You know, the yucky things. I collected my first data set of 5,000 images and began work on a very small model as a proof of concept. It trained for about an hour and I was blown away by the results. Oh, oh my god, it works. It finally works. Wow, I need to clean my screen, holy shit. Yeah, you could tell I was just a little bit happy. I was already at 70% accuracy, but I craved for more. If there is a single thing that I have learned from YouTube and Twitter over the past year, is that people demand perfection on projects that aren't their own. And so I moved on to a bigger and better model, one that should crack the 70% barrier, and potentially even the 80%. This model was double the size, I collected triple the original data set, and I got to training right away. But I noticed something weird happening while training. Why is it 6864? It's not focusing. Why is it always 0.6864? Machine learning, machine learning, machine learning, machine learning, machine learning. Yeah, so this one wasn't working. Basically, for anyone who doesn't know anything about machine learning, the loss and accuracy staying the same value over multiple iterations means that something was wrong. And not knowing how to fix it, I had to try something different. That something different was actually called an autoencoder, and I would explain it in this video, but it's just too complex, and it was a dead end, so um, I was left with zero options besides going back and looking at what I did wrong. But it was at this point I had a harrowing realization. The original CNNs I worked on learned nothing. The original datasets had a fatal flaw. It was completely unbalanced. The data was split. 70% not safe for work and 30% safe for work, which matches exactly to the accuracy. To confirm my suspicions, I ran the model again, but this time with a data set that had 50% safe for work and 50% not safe for work. And I was right. Only 50% accuracy. It was guessing at random. And after this point, I was so tired with this project, I was about ready to quit. Fuck off. But I had one final trick up my sleeve. Plagiarism. There's something called transfer learning, and that's where you use an AI that already exists to suit your own needs. And this was my final option. If I couldn't get this to work, this project was over. I used something called Efficient Net V2, which is very small but insanely powerful. However, I still didn't know if this would work. My confidence was at an all-time low with this classification project, and the only thing I could do was sit back and watch to see if it worked.
And there you have it. As you can see, the model most certainly works. It has by far smashed any record that I expected for it to reach. So I ended up training it for a bit longer and with a lot more images, uh, 60,000 images in this case. It's now at an accuracy of about 90.5%, and it can do some pretty neat things. So I asked on Twitter for people to try out my model, and I learned some pretty insightful things. So to start, one thing it's able to detect quite well are needlessly large rods. And no, not the League of Legends item, I mean like genitals. It has learned quite well all the unique shape and sizes that furry nether bits come in. So that's pretty neat, I guess. And something that I discovered that I didn't expect at all, it detects cum. <laughs> and what's even cooler is that it has to be the right color and consistency for it to actually activate. So for example, here's some milk, and look, it's safe for work. It knows that milk isn't cum. Now, of course, I can detect other things too, and I'm glossing over and just showing you the cool stuff, but I have a website where you can try this out yourself. There, you can upload your image, get your result, and tell me what you get on Twitter in the thread I link below. This website took a couple of days, and I was so excited to release it that I even made an ad. Oh my god. It sucks not knowing if art is not safe for work, am I right? Well, listen up. I found this new website that does just that. Poggers is a website made for us, and I love it. It's easy to use, and there's so many possibilities. Teehee, see you on pogay.rs. Okay, this is so shit. Now, I'm very satisfied with this AI. It is super performant, and it's very small. It can be run on almost anything. But there are some drawbacks. The only two big issues I can think of is that the accuracy could be better, and it's too binary. To fix these, all I really need to do is just engineer the dataset a bit better. For one, just like not safe for work versus safe for work, I could balance other tags out. You know, I haven't tested this yet, so I'm not sure if it would do good against Vor, but you could see how more niche furry kinks could actually confuse the model if it's only trained on normal not safe for work stuff. And the other thing I can do is make it detect if something is questionable. There might be a way for it to detect levels of not safe for work, but as of now, I'm not sure how I would do that. Anyways, that about covers it for me. Thank you so much for watching this far, and please do try out the model on my website. And share the results on Twitter and in the comment section. I'm super interested to see how you guys break it. Anyways, that's it for me. See ya.